Yep. Creative destruction of functional fixedness. Wow. I just put some like. I love that title. Looking good title. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Um, I'm gonna use my two hands. So can I just present without this one? Can you hear me? Yes. I got like loud voice. <laughs> that you do. So like. My project name is Create Destruction of Functional Fixed. Um, before the starting the, my presentation, thanks for letting Supriya play her video because my project is really related with her project. So hopefully I can visit India someday and I want to share my ideas. Yes. I call myself passion designer since 2006. I love the word passion, but passion is something you don't see, you can't even draw. So I, I put designer and passion. I want to design something passion. I don't know what it is, the shape is, but I want to make passion with my draw with, with, with my action or my speech speech. So my Korean name is Ji Hong. So time is limited. I will go. Thanks for the um, British Council and Lloyd Register LIQA. They support me like part of this to make me um, participate in this event. So and thanks for the rest of my 17 sponsors too. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make you ah. And aha, it's like, ah is like wow, surprise. And aha is like ah, ah. So I want. I think this is like most part of the creative. Make people understand what is creative is. And I'm doing pizza business my, with my parents for 12 years. Something like that. I want. This is the idea that wants you. How many people used this one before? Everyone. How many people read a book? Everyone? Yes, then this idea is really probably worth to you. Um, picture is, let me see. I hope you can see it like, in the middle, okay. So it will be like, takes three seconds. Pull this part. Here, hold it like 19 degree with the right first right finger, hand. and the shape goes like this. This is the way I um, explain it to the little children. My product is like, it's focused on like kids. I'm kind of nervous. Lift this one up and curl it a little bit. If you lift this one up and Hang like this. Can you guess what it is? Book stand. World cheapest, lightest book stand ever made before. Like that. Wow. Okay. Time is limited. I put it on the YouTube now, like 90, 95 thousand, right? So hopefully when I get back, maybe. Probably one, one, one <laughs> zero or something. Like that. <laughs> and many people start um, sending a picture of their made version of uh, books ten. And many people say thanks to me. I'm really happy when people say thank you. Thanks for sharing ideas. I, I didn't make these ideas to. Sh I mean, like, just like making money or something. Like, I just want to share these ideas, so I just put it on the YouTube. Interesting things happen. Some teachers start sending me a picture. They uh, made children how to make this one, and even students make this one. Every teacher, and I was invited to some kind of like event, so sharing idea with the parents. And like, if you book, leave it open, you know, there's more chance to read it often. I made this one. <laughs> one thing. I had a chance to um, visit. You asked before, like two years ago. This is the way I'm um, like imagining my visions, like mind map things. So I went to New York Public Library. It was kind of hard, but security was checking. What's what's this whole wire hanger <laughs> things? No more wire hangers. I was kind of afraid, but I woke up and I started making things to the people, like this. And I went to George Washington um, University Library. I met librarian. She worked for like 25 years. Oh, she said all oh, these brilliant ideas, and like she she suggests me to go go to um, this university. She said I will recommend you to this like for the kind of grad school. Yeah, I'm not going to grad school right now, but 
probably potential opportunity. Oh, this is like strand books, probably you know. And I went to MoMA, Museum of Modern Art, Modern Art, right? I couldn't pass this sculpture because there was some place for my mind. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not supposed to do that, but I couldn't help it. Yeah. One thing leads you to another. It was developed with a double version. Now, this one can hold. It's kind of free, it's nothing. It's only like 10 cents, but now this, this uh, was value cost like, I think more than 20 bucks. <laughs> Triple version, and I went to England again. I participated at London Design Festival. I asked to some of the professor in Royal College of Art. I just get up there. I want, I want opportunity. I want to participate. So he said yes. It was so easy. I was kind of nervous, but it was easy. And China, this is um like school, the like Tsinghua University. Elementary school of Tsinghua University. I didn't go there. Like some students sent me this picture. It was interesting. I used just like walking around, just sharing by themselves. I didn't push it. At school, they like. I like this term. Like innovation means in invention implemented. And invention itself is not worth. If you just keep it, it's, it's useless. But if you like start sharing and like make people learning, then now you can call it innovations. So I was on the media. It's really simple ideas, but it opens the door what I have been doing. I have like so many projects actually. It's like kind of limited time. So people call me like inventor. I didn't call myself inventor before. But. And I made um, this kind of poster sponsored by British Council and LIQA. And this one idea is getting starting, becoming, changing as a like product. Normally, book stands are made of um, plastic or the wood, mostly wood. I made it with um, at first time I I cut it with a what do you call a cardboard, yeah. and I designed it a little better version, mm -hmm. so you can put your book like this. It's like. Um, one dollar, two dollar. I call it book stand up. It means book stand is a book stand. Book stand up means I want to make people read more books and so they can like stand up. Can you guess what it is, right? Yeah. You can yeah. feel it, right? Yeah. yeah. So I call it creative. I destroy this one in creative way. I not destroy it like this, but I destroy it this way. And it changed function. It was a it was a um, coat hanger. This one has been invented nineteen um, nineteen o eight by American. Now there's no patent. Like everyone used it, and this um, coat hanger size is the same because the human shoulder size is the, almost the same. Thirty seconds. Yeah, thirty seconds. Do, do you remember um, that I give you a um, this yellow card? I explained some of them, but I didn't give you now, but I will give you all of them. The reason why I made this, um, I had a car accident before, a car hit me and ran away in 2006. The next day, he was, he, got, he was cut by a policeman. He was drunk, and he has no money, he has no insurance, <coughs> like nothing. I was in hospitalized for two months, like some bones are broke, but it was okay. You know who he is, right? After that, um, I was thinking like how to um, solve that problem, car accident rates. So visibility is, I, I realized that visibility is very important. So like, it means yellow card for this kind of situations. So I gave this one to the kids. They know what it is. I, when I, whenever I ask the children, do you know what it is? It's a yellow card. When you, do you know when you use it? Yes. When we, a funnel or like doing something, a crazy thing in the stadium thing, like they understand. So like this, this is yellow card. So school area is now been changing. I want to put um, 
the yellow vest to all the kids, but I have not. But still, like in Korean, when I give this one to people, people look at, at this. They think it is kind of glow things, but I took this picture in England. England. Stop. The last thing I want to, this is the last thing. Um, this is my, one of my notes. I've been writing notebook like 25 volumes, 28 volumes in six years. This is kind of, um, this is a container in your mind. I mean, this, this is the kind of ideas. It's hard to explain in English, but. Thinking, thinking. Question mark, question mark. All right, thank you. That was great, Patrick. I'm sure there's going to be a few questions while the next ones get set up.